Hello, and welcome to Bits, Bytes, and Barrels 101. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Can, and I'm your resident instructor and expert on the impacts of digital technology on the oil and gas industry. This course is designed to help you, the oil and gas industry professional, the digital professional, the supplier, or the regulator, or the financier, prepare for the coming disruption to the oil and gas industry caused by digital innovations. Their definition is that something that is digital, be that a thing, a business model, a service, or a product, must incorporate three distinct elements. And these elements are data, analytics, and connectivity. These three things brought together to create an innovative product, service, or business model create something that the world generally describes as digital. These two laws create a compelling sense of urgency among digital companies. They propel adoption. And these two laws also create abundance. They create the abundance of data, analytics, and connectivity. What are these two magical laws with such incredible power? They are Moore's Law and Metcalfe's Law. Mr. Moore noted a phenomenon in chip design that over time, the number of transistors on a chip doubled every 12 to 18 months. And at the same time, the cost of the chip fell by 50%. Very few oil and gas assets are actually designed with Metcalfe's Law in mind. We don't connect wells to each other. We don't connect pumps to each other. We don't connect valves to each other. We don't connect our gas plants to each other. They're all basically standalone running assets. So much of our infrastructure is designed without a view as to how Metcalfe's Law might transform the potential of that asset. So Metcalfe's Law applies not just to physical things, but to business models. If you add more and more connections in a business, the value of that business model may go up quite dramatically. A good example of Metcalfe's Law in a business model is Airbnb. Airbnb actually has two networks. One is the network of customers who use Airbnb to book rooms and experiences. And the second is the network of households with rooms to rent. These two come together to create very significant business value. Metcalfe's Law works because of cloud computing and an app store to make it easy access, the software, the availability of devices in many people's pockets and hands, and the rapid spread of the Internet of Things. Moore's Law and Metcalfe's Law reinforce each other. But... They don't exist in oil and gas. And that is an opportunity to exploit. But let's fast forward 15 years to 2017. Now, the top five largest companies in the world by market cap are all digital concerns. Apple, Alphabet, which is the parent company of Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and Facebook. And in positions 6 and 7, you're likely to find Alibaba or Tencent, two of the large Chinese digital companies. In just 15 years, the capital markets have swung entirely over to valuing the digital industry ahead of all others. In the case of oil and gas, the ecosystem includes the engineering and procurement businesses that build the oil and gas infrastructure, drilling and service companies that drill wells, the services and the maintenance companies that keep oil refineries and gas plants running, and the fuel delivery businesses that deliver fuel to retailing outlets. Cybercrimes can range from phishing attacks and online scams to energy theft, where thieves set up rogue Bitcoin mining operations in your facility. I often get asked if there are such things as new business models in oil and gas. It is an industry that is characterized by steel and cement, molecules, tanks, rail, pipelines, and other physical assets. Where is the new business model potential? Well, in fact, there are several already. Here's just a few examples. 